Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about Pandas. Pandas is open source library in Python. It's very powerful tool for data analysis and data manipulation. Pandas development began at AQR, that is Applied Quantitative Research Capital Management. By the end of 2009, it had been open source. People do create these issues and people who support this project, they contribute to this and they try to resolve those issues. So these many people are working on pandas. So this is their GitHub page. And if you click on this, we'll go to the documentation part. We'll see how you can use this documentation. So let's get started. I opened this Anaconda Navigator. Once you get interface like this, click on launch. Once you click on launch, my file is on desktop. That's why I'm clicking on desktop, okay? And I opened this. So this is my Jupyter Notebook. So before starting data analysis, we need data. So for our practice, we'll take data from various sources, Fred, Kaggle and Yahoo Finance. So we'll see how you can download data from Yahoo Finance before starting with Pandas. Okay, first we'll get the data. Let's say I want data from Yahoo Finance. So what I'll do, I'll import this library, YF Finance as YF. Then in YF, I'm passing the ticker name. You can pass the stock name which you want to analyze. And then if you do msft.info, you will get detail about the Microsoft. Then what I'm doing, I'm taking the historical stock data by running this command. And I'll show you how you can know all these commands. Okay. So this is my data frame. So what I have here is date, then open value of that stock in 1986 in high, low, close value, volume, dividend, and stock split. These are my first few records, and these are my last few records. So this is the metadata. What valid range I can use is five days, one month, three months, six months. I'm taking data for max available dates. Then I'm looking at splits, then dividends, then actions. So how do I know all these commands? So if I do this double question mark and Microsoft, then I'll get all the options which are there available splits action shares info calendar recommendation right so i'm trying few things here i'm looking at microsoft's income statement this is my data frame and then we will see how we can analyze that so here what i'm doing is that i was not able to see all the rows and i'm setting pd dot set option display max rows to 500 show me 500 rows because if you don't do that if you run this same command in your computer few of rows you will not be able to see and once you set this you will be able to see all the rows so what is my total tax payable income tax payable account payable total assets you can see all those details here then microsoft's cash flow what percentage of shares institutions are holding as you can see uh, the top holder here is vanguard group then post that BlackRock, State Street, right? And we'll see how we can analyze this data, okay? So this is one source, Yahoo Finance is one source. So this is news related data. If we click on this, so this is latest news. And then here I'm checking what all options are there, which I can pass uh, in Yahoo Finance, okay? I can pass all these different things. So here what I'm doing, I'm downloading the data for Apple and the index and period is max progress is false otherwise it will show some progress bar that's why i'm doing this progress is false and group by ticker so i'm grouping by ticker and here from this data what i'm doing is that i'm taking index close values and plotting it as you can see here from 1992 till 2024 then there is a second source it's called pandas reader so using pandas reader we can download data from fred fred is federal reserve economic data you will see a lot of time series data here let's say you want to analyze data related to inflation unemployment gdp interest rate you can do that okay we'll see how you can download that data so if you do this double question mark and PDR which is library name and data reader then you will see in data reader what you can pass you can pass source start date end date right session and for few options which are there available for that you will have to 
go on their website and get a API key and put that API key. This is factor related data which I'm downloading using pandas reader. Okay. So this is the site from which I can download and factor modeling is okay, mostly used in equity and you can build factor model recently uh, momentum strategy is performing really well. So that is one of the factor which you can look at. AQR does factor investing. There are a lot of firms who are started doing factor investing. Okay. So then from pandas reader, I'm downloading data. This is time series data. So we saw that how you can download data from Yahoo finance then using pandas reader from fred and there are like a lot of other options also yahoo iex fred fema french eurostat nasdaq condal so these are various sources using which you can download data okay, and then we'll see how you can analyze that using pandas kaggle is acquired by google so it's part of google now kaggle is a platform where People take participation in data science competition. So if you go in data set, you will find a lot of data set on Kaggle, which you can download. We saw Yahoo Finance as a source. Then Fred is one of the source. You can download data if you want to build factor model. And we will see in one of our exercises how to build factor model. So now let's say I have my own data or you have downloaded data from Kaggle. So this is how I read it using pandas. So what I'm doing. First, I'll do import pandas as pd, then pd.read underscore csv. There are a lot of files which you can read. You can read Excel, SQL database file, pocket file. There are a lot of functionalities in pandas. I want you to leverage that. Okay. I don't want you to get bogged down with all the details. After this course, I'll give you exercise and I want you to solve that and post that go on pandas documentation see what all options are available there okay so let's get started uh, we are reading this csv file what we have we have id previous id current id then contract type is it consumer loan cash loan and then amount annuity so i have a lot of columns here so this is my data frame credit is my data frame now and in my data frame I have a lot of options which are there to analyze the data. Once I store my data in data frame, I can do info. If I do info, I'll get data types. When we learned about statistics, we talked about standard deviation, right? We talked about mean. So in single command, it is giving me all the details. Then I can look at index. What is my index? Okay. Then I'm setting this as an index, my ID as an index in places means it is changing in existing data frame otherwise it will not update my existing data frame so I am updating that credit dot is na dot sum so how many values are na I am looking at that and I am summing it so here I have around 370k records which are null so if you see most of these are around under this bar right if you see this histogram what I'm looking at is that this is a histogram right it says that interest rate is more than 60% I doubt that okay so that's where you go and see uh, the records and try to identify this is where your data analysis skills come into picture before building any model data scientists or quant analyst they spend almost 50 to 60 percent time cleaning their data understanding their data so data analysis is really important part of this whole journey so now let's look at how many columns which are there in my data set so this is my data frame dot columns you will see all the names of your column and i'm looking at my amount annuity right so this is head credit dot head then while doing analysis let's say you know that your SKID has some issue and you want to look at that. So how you can do that credit dot lock and pass that index value. But let's say if you don't know the ID, but you know that it is you want to just look at first 10 records, how you can do that, you will have to use I lock there index uh, location. Okay. And here we can like uh, pass the index value and we can look at those records. Now let's say I want to look at few records I can pass like this double square bracket I can pass here number of records here and I can have a look at that as we said let's say you don't know which records are having issue we can filter that we'll see filtering there where there is an issue 
okay but let's say you just want to have a look at first 10 records you can use iloc data frame dot iloc and pass the index number so what i'm doing here i'm pressing shift and enter if you press shift and enter it will run cell let's say you want new cell how you can do that just click on any cell you will see this blue bar here once you get this blue bar click on a okay it will insert one cell above and if you click on b it will insert a cell below and let's say i'm doing value count here what i'm doing is that i'm generating 36 rows and 5 column using numpy i'm setting the seed so that even if you uh, do seed 100 you will get exactly same number what i'm getting but if you if you don't give seed you will get totally different number than what i'm getting okay so this is numpy functionality we will also have a look at that uh, in next lecture these two libraries are really important so we have not set any column name that's the reason it's 0 1 2 5 this is how my data is looking like now i want to set the column name so df columns equal to the list of column name so now what i want to do is that i want to create a date range frequency i want is monthly and i want to create 36 period monthly data okay because i have created here 36 rows right so what it is saying here it's giving me warning what it says is that future warning m is deprecated and will be removed in future version please use me let's go on pandas document and see so this is 2.2 which is stable version latest version okay and i was passing the frequency if i want to see what all options are available there in frequency if i click here see for month earlier it was m now it's me that's the reason i say that reading documentation having that skill is very powerful so start reading documentation don't rely on few videos okay because documentation will get updated very frequently and you can learn a lot of new functionalities right because no one can teach you all the functionalities which are there in pandas okay after this lecture just skim through this okay 10 minute to pandas then few functionality just have a look at that we'll cover a lot of things here so i created the dates right and i'm setting that as index and this is my and this is how my data looking like then i have df dot values also okay then if i do describe i'll get mean standard deviation minimum value maximum value in info i get data types 36 non-null none of them are none right so let's say when i do df dot min what it is doing is that it is giving me mean for each column right this is first column mean second column mean whenever I, I set axis equal to one it will give me mean of the rows okay then cumulative sum then i'm taking log of my data frame it's giving me runtime warning invalid values are there we can't take log right so this is very important functionalities of panda let's say you have huge data and you want to group by that okay so here what we are doing is that we are looking at the rating of uh, microsoft right it was setting this grade data as an index so i did reset index in place true which is modifying in main data then i'm creating one column as count because i wanted to show you the further analysis which you can do let's say this is this is some score which they are having okay and i'm generating this number randomly okay so let's say i have now as you can see here i have 708 records six column right date firm to grade from grade actions and count right so now i am filtering this data so what i did is that microsoft lock okay if my firm has morgan stanley and ubs filter that data only and count i want above 80 so these many records are there right so you can do this kind of analysis let's say you have millions of record as we saw in uh, credit related data we had 1.6 million records and you want to see um, before running any model you want to make sure you are very confident with your data right so you will plot different visualization we'll see that in visualization class uh, how you can plot histogram pair plot scatter plots bar plots all the plots and which one to use when okay but now let's focus on slicing data wherever from grade is overweight i want all those records so these many records are there where from grade is 
overweight okay so then i want to let's say i want to drop the column to grid how i can do that microsoft dot drop i can do this way then how many unique firms i have i have total 63 firms so what i'm doing now is that i'm grouping by the firm okay and then i'm looking at the group size let's say i want to pass any aggregation in group by you can pass that aggregation we can do that in one line also microsoft dot group by firm and then which column we want we can do that count in count what we can do is that we can do sum average we can look at that so i'm looking at the sum of my count and the average value of the count for each firm then let's say you want to slice some records so this is institutional holding records for microsoft we are having top 10 firms right so what i want to do is that i want to check the records wherever the percentage held is more than five percent right so as we can see that vanguard is holding 8.8 percent .8%, blackrock is holding 7.22 percent which is huge right so let's say i want to slice that data if you do that is giving me wherever it is true right for first two firm are holding more than five percent let's say i want to have a look at those records so what i can do give data frame name and then condition inside that in square bracket it will filter data for me same way let's say i have multiple conditions wherever percentage held is more than two percent and less than ten percent so how many records are there like that around five records and if i want to have a look at that i can do this so we look at slicing the data dropping column group by right then there is different options also so we will go on their documentation and we will have a look this book you can use as a reference i'll give you a few questions practice those okay refer this book and whenever you get data start analyzing it go on pandas documentation so under user guide if you see they have what is the difference between merge join and concat right so as you can see they created this data frame then second data frame and third data frame and if you concat these different data frames you will see records like this it is concatenating on top of each other right df1 df2 df3 and this is my final result right let's have a look at merge okay so this is my data frame which is named as left and this is named as right and i'm merging this left and right on keys on key value i'm merging this data frame and this is how my result will look like so this is what merge does what all option we have we can do left merge right merge outer merge inner merge while doing practice we will have a look at all these things